I'm in the Bailey's. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today it is um, Friday, and I'm going to the Glory press conference with my sister and my mother. They're not in the car yet because they're always late, you know. But um, yeah, I'm very excited for today. Today I'm gonna receive a coin in honor of my father's name for his uh, titles in the K1 days, his titles in the K1 days, and um, it's not just gonna be my father. It's also gonna be uh, Semi Shield and Nesto Host and Remy Bajaski. So um, yeah, I'm very excited for today, and uh, I'm very curious what it's gonna look like. So we have to drive to Amsterdam today, and this is gonna be located near Schiphol. It's uh, one and a half, maybe two hours driving, so I hope we are lucky with the traffic this time. I like being on time myself. It depends. I don't say I'm always on time myself, but I prefer being on time, especially to events like this. So yeah, let's get to the press conference and uh, drive to uh, Schiphol. Thank you for your time and I'll see you in just a couple of minutes. Who's help them out? Yes. Yeah. Wow. There's a uh, lot of more than 10 years, there's again a heavyweight tournament. And I think uh, today uh, kickboxing is really mainstream. I know quite some manager Grand Prix already more than three times. Peter Arts, Ines de Host, Semi Skilled, and Eke Bonjaski. We use a limited set of four points, including these four uh, kickboxers. And I'm very proud that only after word is mint, I can hand over the first copies to the son of Peter Arts here on the left side of me, and then uh, Eke Bonjaski. It's a real honor for us to do the end of air during this ceremony. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's very good. Give us your uh, first reaction. Well, uh, my reaction, uh, first of all, will be uh, thanks. Like you said, Sam Shield, uh, Peter Arsen, and Esto, of course, uh, the son of Peter is uh, also here. But on behalf of them, I want to. You know, thank also them because also because of them, I I went into kickboxing to do my thing. What can you say on behalf of your father, Peter? Yes. Hello, my name is Marcelo, and uh, I'm here on the behalf of my father, and uh, I would like to uh, thank the Dutch Royal Mint and the uh, Royal Kickboxing for uh, this amazing prestigious award. And, uh, yeah, he was very hard to love it. Uh, and I thank everybody. On behalf of the legend, also. Like maybe Sammy and Esther, of course. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for this great gift. And also uh, something to recognize, to recognize it, uh, in the sport. Because, uh, it's a beautiful sport. Thank you so much. It's time to wrap it up here. I'll get the right to see you for the official wedding. So, uh, I don't know if you can hear me good, but uh, I just accepted this award. First of all, As you can see, my father, Nesta uh, Host, Semi Shield, and uh, Remy, and, and uh, together with Remy, I accepted this award on behalf of all of our fighters. So, um, yeah, representing it's very great. And overseeing our way is Gino Better even in real life, time, give them a big hand I think, because I saw some pictures. Yeah, it's definitely more the official way 
I think a little Thank bit of history has already been made tonight. If you're yeah, Scales first debuted in uh, Copenhagen all the way back at Glory. All right, so we just had it. I hope it went well. I haven't seen now, it myself. So I'm uh, very curious to watch it back. As a professional, 11 wins, but, uh, 6 I hope it's good. One draw, and, uh, 5 of those yeah. wins. Because and again, if you're looking who's gonna win the tournament? Who's gonna win the tournament? Look at that. Who's gonna knock him out? Who's gonna knock him out? I put my money on you. I put my money on you. Who's gonna win on knockout? Thank you for that. Our quarter finals. Interviews. So uh, soon we're gonna talk baby to Rico and we're gonna show my dad if he picks up. So that's gonna be a big question. Hey Rico, is it? Yeah, good man. Yeah, is it good? Hi, hi. Hi, how are you? Rico, can you say yes, something? Yes, in yes, we're here. Are you ready? Of course, I'm ready. Great. I'm excited. I can't wait for tomorrow the Glory Heavyweight Grand Prix. Um, and still, and still, and, and of course, Nobody I want to follow. I, I want to follow in your father's footsteps. So I'm gonna try and close it in the fastest time ever. So let's yeah, get it. For sure. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you. How <laughs> you doing? Really good. Really good. Yeah, we have the zin in. We have the zin in. We have to do it. Yeah, that was great. It's going good. Don't give up, Ray. Don't give up. Don't give up. I have a big burger and I'm uh, very hungry. Uh, I have not eaten at all actually today, in the morning a little bit. But um, yeah, finally, I'm really hungry. I'm gonna definitely enjoy it. All right. All right, I'm now at the parking uh, uh, garage where we have a car and look at this. You have a ladies you have a ladies only parking garage and that's crazy or like spots not even a parking garage i hope it's not getting copyrighted because of the music but uh, yeah the press, press con was really nice uh now we're going back and now it's already around 3 3 30 so we have to get back for two hours maybe even longer with brush hour so hopefully we'll still make it on time but we don't think if we, if we can make training um, in zutphen so I'm still gonna train, but uh, I have to do a different kind of training. So yeah, I'm pretty tired now. <sighs> All right guys, it's uh, one day after, and uh, yesterday I did not have the time to uh, end the video. The idea was to also uh, train, but uh, sadly I could not train because we came home too late. It was uh, already seven o'clock and we still had to go and 7.30 training starts in uh, Zutphen but uh, yeah today we're going to glory this morning I also had a little run so at least I did something well uh, but um, I wanted to make this video a glory Grand Prix special so it's gonna be a little bit different because normally I don't like putting two days in one last video I think Rico will win and um, yeah we had a really good chat with Rico yesterday and some other fighters I didn't have that one on camera, but I also spoke uh, to Tariq Kababes, the one with Uku I recorded, but um, yeah, with Tariq I also had a little chat and he was very uh, prepared. Also with his opponent Abena and uh, his trainer Said El Badawi, oh, do you say it like that? I don't know, I don't know exactly how I pronounce it, but I'll just uh, call him Said. It is in the Gelderdom in Arnhem and that is a little bit more than one hour driving i'm very excited for it and now we just need to drive there so it's gonna be a fun evening and we're gonna see a lot of people uh, we already know like yesterday so um yeah let's get to the grand prix <laughs> Uh, now we're gonna search for, for a seat, and uh, Uku uh, is fighting now against Levi Rechnitz. So, let me quickly get our spots and then we can watch. Alright, the light is really bad. Who is winning? Who is winning? This guy. Who? Zaya? 
Who is winning? Boogie! <laughs> He's joking around. Uh, Baram is better. And now it's this Why third Baram? round is gonna start. So yeah, he's winning because he's making more points and uh, Tariq Osaro is eating all of those punches. So very interesting what the third round is doing. Right? 20 of those wins coming by way of knockout. He stands 65 inches tall, 1.96 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at 271 pounds, 122.8 kilos. Fighting tonight out of the Netherlands, he is the king of kickboxing and the running heavyweight champion of the world. It is Ricardo Verhoeven. Right, so yesterday, Rico told me that he was going to finish it in 10 minutes. So uh, I hope he gets it done. And he wanted to break a record of my father. So uh, I'm very curious and I hope he gets it done. But uh, now it's almost the first round over. It's going pretty well. He's, it's going pretty well, I think. But uh, his opponent is not doing bad. So uh, yeah, now it's gonna almost, almost the end of the round. Oh. There we go. Stop. All right, so Rico won the first round, I think. Uh, at the end, he still got it, so first round to Rico. All five of our ringside judges see them out and score them out the same 30-27. A unanimous decision, all for your winner, who now punches his ticket into the tournament semi-final, Rico Verhoeven! Alright, Rico with a very good and easy victory, so uh, no advances and faces, uh, Nabil Kachab. But he saw he's a good kickboxer, and he defeated my next my next opponent, so he showed me how to do it. You're an experienced guy, especially in tournament. What happens now when you go backstage? Oh, we try to stay warm, just gonna keep moving, look at where the damage is at my other opponent, and then move on from there. All right, Rico, we're excited to see you in the semifinals. We'll see you soon. Let's hear it for your winner, Rico. Tijani is not fighting and uh, he's dominating four rounds to zero and uh, into the last round he's also dominating so uh, like I said in the predictions uh, I think uh, he would have a very easy and dominant performance and uh, yeah the only fight I uh, missed is the one with uh, Uku and Levy well I, I saw it but the, with the predictions so uh, yeah we're doing pretty well I think <laughs> for the rest uh, yeah, after this is uh, Baron against um, against Levy, and after that is Rico again to uh, catch up. Let's see who is gonna win. Oh! against Levi Richters. Uh, Baram was the better fighter, but... Uh, oh, shit. Baram was better, but he got an 8 count, which was a little bit underserved, and that's why everybody's booing. But let's check the results. We go to the judges' scorecard. All five of our ringside judges see them out, and score them out the same. 28-27 for your winner by unanimous decision. And now advancing to the tournament. I think Baram deserved an extra round. It could be an extra round. Nobody agrees. Nobody agrees.
right, let's go. All right, lady, this is your time, buddy. We gotta go get you back there. Give me your thoughts. Counts one for me, one for him. I think I won the second round, so that makes me uh, my win. All right, get some rest. We're gonna see you in the finals. Let's hear it for your winner, Levy Richters. Let's see this way to the finals. All right, that was Rico. So uh, very curious what he's gonna do. I think Rico is gonna win easily. Go Show us what you got when Rico makes the beat drop. 157.1 kilos. He's back. Jamal Ben Sadek is there too because he's fighting he's Rico. Out of the white corner. So, now uh, his yeah, win that's to 62 Jamal was joining the tournament. Oh, it was. All right, Jamal Ben Sadek is there too. What I said, I'm just going to repeat myself. And uh, they have a history together with Rico, of course, so it's going to be very interesting and some bad blood. Said he is not in the tournament, but uh, he's of course has used ser uh, got on steroids, so I think it's fair he doesn't join the tournament. But, uh, you know, it would be a great fight regardless. So uh, let's go watch this fight. Rico went 10 8 this round because uh, he got a minus point for holding. And uh, yeah, Rico should win this because Kachap is not a knockout and he's really tired. So uh, Rico should win this one and uh, face Levy in the finals. Everybody uh, stands now, but uh, Jamal is unsportsmanlike. Rico, a lot going on here. Give me a reaction on what's happening. Yeah, guys, it's for me, it's very simple. I thought I won the fight clearly, and for the rest, you know, uh, we had a discussion. He said, like, oh, the ref is helping him, the ref is helping him. Well, I thought that's BS. And then uh, you saw what happened here. Uh, Jamal made the kick like fuck we gotta fucking ban this guy from kickboxing this is this behavior is You're a true professional. We're gonna get you backstage and rested, and we'll see you for the finals. Your winner, Rico Hab of our ringside judges. I put on Hamush, so I hope you won. I didn't see the full fight, but I really hope you won. By unanimous decision. My money is on him. Idiot. Oh yes. Hamush. All right, so I put a little bet on because why not? And he won, so I'm very happy with that. Just one more for my bet, and uh, all my predictions are right, almost so far, except uh, Levy. Uh, but uh, yeah, the second fight, of course, because uh, Uku lost and Baram I expect to be the final, so I still think I'm pretty good with the prediction. I still got uh, Tarek Mavet winning the next one, and uh, I will complete my bet if he wins. So, uh, fingers crossed. This fight is uh, the most exciting one, if you ask me. Let me put it like this. Uh, yeah, Tarek always comes to fight, and uh, I don't think his career is gonna be that long because he always comes for a war. And uh, yeah, Abena is gonna have his real first title defense so it's gonna be very exciting yeah my predictions are said towering so I have to stick with it what did you guys think Who won? I hope Tarek won the fight in my opinion but you never know and you who won Tarek who won Tarek alright let's see championship rounds we go to the judges score let's card. see who they wins give us back I'm very curious today. a split decision oh here are the totals from our five ringside judges two judges score them out 48-47 Abena two judges score them out 48-47 Kababes 
Oh. And the fifth and final judge also scores the bout 48-47 for your winner by split decision. And new! <laughs> My evening is done. I uh, won my bet. Yeah, I like to only gamble on glory. For the rest, uh, I don't do it anymore. But uh, yeah. Now Tarek is going to give a speech, but I'm very happy uh, we got it. Big inspector of Dology, Hirsch. I gave Mauser respect. I don't care. We have big. I don't care. And uh, what I want to say. Please stop the war in Palestine. No, no, no war is Lina. Please stop it. And uh, this is my big brother, this doctor. We work hard and for. All right, hear me out. If I let this go against Terry, Tarek Kabbalah, it would be the main fight. That's going to be the fight of the year. So let's hope that fight happens. And now it's time for Rico against Levy. Let's hope Rico wins this one. $500,000 prize that comes with it. Who will be crowned the Glory Grand Prix Champion? The Judge! Rico just needs one more good low kick and uh, he's winning of Levy, then it's finished. So let's see before I'm gonna miss it.
but the end comes just one second shy of the bell in that second round by way of the tournament maximum knockdown rule. And it's ruled a technical knockout for your winner. And now, Glory Heavyweight Grand Prix Champion, Rico Rico, I don't think anyone expected you to get dropped like that. Before we talk about your win, take us through that moment. Did you ever see that spinning back fist coming? Uh, I guess not. <laughs> I guess not. Uh, but first of all, ladies and gentlemen, Give a big round of applause for my other finalist, Leighton Nichters! Thank you so much, thank you so much. What a competitor. What a competitor he was. Uh, like he said, he just, uh, yeah, separate ways with his trainer, so a lot of props to him. For now we're with Rico's trainer. Dennis, finished it, huh? Top gedaan. Yeah. The trainer of uh, Rico. So, uh, ja, ik weet het, ja, 100% gaan we bericht sturen. 100% top. Hey. Rico. Rico. Hey, Rico. Je hebt geflekt, Rico. Ja. Rico. Je hebt geflekt. Nee, joh. Oh, oh dankjewel, dankjewel. Dankjewel, dankjewel. Ja. Hey, Rico. Rico, feliciteit, hè. Ik ben deze. Super, ja. Super. Top, top. Ik weet niet waar hij is. Ja. Dus, uh, David Rico. Ik weet niet waar hij is. Ik zie het niet. Zus, zus. Rico. Alright, now we're walking backstage and uh, we're gonna welcome with Rico's trainer, trainers, and his team, of course. So, um, yeah, now we are waiting, and of course, he's first going to the doctor, etc. That's actually the feeling when I actually felt like I was waking up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, kijk, hey, 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 ja, ja. Ik ben heel spannend. Ja, je maakt het wel spannend, ja. Maar ik weet niet eens wat er gebeurt. Ja, hij hoort het nooit. Maar de wens is binnen. Peter, we hebben het weer gedaan. Niet zo snel als jij het gedaan had, maar ik heb het niet voor mijn best gedaan. Uh, Wauw, uh, wat een gevoel zeg. Uh, drie keer op één naam, insane, echt bizar. Je hebt het gewoon meerdere keren gedaan. Zoveel respect en ik hoop dat ik een, uh, een heel, 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 heel klein beetje in jouw uh, voetspoor heb, uh, heb mogen lopen. Dus uh, dankjewel daarvoor, dankjewel dat je een inspiratie uh, bent geweest en nog steeds bent voor mij. Uh, je hebt een prachtige gezin die me de hele tijd gesupport heeft. Dus uh, heel veel groetjes voor ons en ik hoop je snel te zien. Doei vriend! Alright guys, what an event. Uh, we are now back, almost at the car. Wow, uh, it was great. Uh, thank you to Rico's trainers for uh, letting us uh, behind also. Oh, we, were, we were invited by uh, Rico's trainers to come uh, to the back and uh, we want to thank them for that of course. What a great evening. Uh, met some new people. And also in the back, uh, Sunry James. Uh, I couldn't get it on camera, but I still took a picture with him. And what a nice guy. <sighs> and this video is gonna be really long and uh, very special. So, yeah, it was amazing. Thank you all for watching, supporting the channel. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the next video.